This is the Tokyo Banner 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Banner 23 no sneaker channel. There's my Nichi Absurdo no there, my Nichi Miti Gosai. I bring you daily content every single day. It's either a sneaker review, upcoming sneaker release, or sneaker news. So make sure you're checking in every single day so that you can get your daily dose of sneakers from Tokyo Banner 23 here in Tokyo, Japan. Today, the review is a sneaker I never thought I would review because it's a sneaker I'm not behind, but it's a sneaker that really has caught my eye. It's the upcoming release of the Nike Air Max. 97 Dallas. As I said at the top of this video, I'm bringing you the Nike Air Max 97 Dallas for a review today. And as I always do at the start of my videos, I like to tell you what's coming tomorrow so that you know what you're getting with your daily, daily, daily content from Tokyo Bar 23. And tomorrow is a sneaker I've never reviewed before. It's an Adidas Young One Blue Pink. And I've been checking this sneaker out again. I wasn't particularly drawn for, towards this sneaker. And that will make three in a row. Yesterday, when I reviewed those Adidas, uh, what they were called, it's not coming back to me. When I reviewed those Adidas Derupt S's which are new I wasn't really thinking I'd get behind that sneaker but yes I did today it's the Air Max 97 a sneaker I never thought I'd get behind but here I am behind that and then tomorrow with those young ones again it's a sneaker that I thought you know what I'm not sure of but I dug into all three of these guys and these colorways and these sneakers I think are definitely actually going to really push sales in the spring season to come this Nike Air Max 97 definitely one to get on so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you're in for today's daily content every single day's content and you're getting that sneaker reviews and sneaker news from Tokyo Bar 23 すると、すみません。Okay, I was just chatting in Japanese there to say that it might help second language people who are watching my content to have the English subtitles down below because that sure does help get people to understand what I'm talking about. It might even help people who are watching in English uh, understand what I'm talking about because I do talk very fast, but hey, that's the way you get your content as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's get into these Nike Air Max 97 Dallases, which is a cracking looking sneaker. Really what we're looking at here is a white, black and green colorway that has crimson accents throughout. So major, the major three colors on this are white, black and that green. And I'll be walking through with you the different places where you see those colors on these sneakers. And those uh, crimson accents, they really do help tie it together. Red and green often do go well together. So crimson and green definitely going to work on this sneaker. I think there are places that really really look good now we start with the lacing system which has that sort of loop around it within the lacing system which was a design element of 97s and I think it's an iridescent loop um, so when you you know shine lights on it it reflects a bit like 3m technology does these days and that loop is reflected further down in the upper where you have another loop or two which reflect light very very well again it's a staple of the Air Max 97 line moving on from that lacing system going up to the tongue you can see that on the tongue there's a 3D uh, sort of shout out to the city of Dallas in Texas there. And again, it's that crimson and green colorway that they've used to get that tongue to pop out there and those 3Ds in there. I'm not entirely sure why there's 3Ds and not one. Uh, is it Dallas, Dallas, Dallas? Is it such a great city that you've got to call its name three times uh, instead of New York, New York? You've got Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. But um, So there's three Ds on there, but there might be a reason for that. And if there is, please let me know down below. You know, I love it when you guys call me out on things that I don't know about. I like to learn. Uh, but it is crimson and red on the tongue there, three Ds. And those crimson and red accents are also uh, brought out in the back at the heel section on the heel tab where you've got the pull tab on the back there is uh, also got area codes from the Dallas area in that crimson and green colorway so it's a nice it's definitely got that Dallas feel you know in the accents without being too overwhelmingly Dallas shall we say but what I don't understand is where crimson and green plays a role in Dallas green for example you'd think Chicago right you know every year St. Patrick's Day the river there is uh, greened up uh, and the city turns green um, so I can imagine green being part of Chicago but I'm not really sure where the green in Dallas comes from again if you know that hit me up with a content uh, content hit me up with a comment down below to tell me what the green in these sneakers stand for. So yes, on the back, on the pool tab there, you've got that uh, the area codes uh, in green and red to, to again help the, the you know accents that help the sneaker pop without overwhelming and I think it looks really, really good. 
Looking on the inside of the sneaker to the insole, you can see again that uh, red, and well, it's not red, it's crimson and green motif continues on the insole uh, to tie it together. And I, I can't express this enough, I can't say it enough how I appreciate how subtle the crimson and the green are on the sneaker and subtlety in design, not just in sneakers, but even in the clothes I wear. I mean, the subtle sort of branding on clothing and sneakers is a really big thing for me. And that's what you're seeing here with this 97, one of the reasons why I like it very much. Uh, and that insole motif is carried out to the outsole, not the outsole, so to the middle, oh my goodness, I've gone all over the place, it's carried out to the upper where there's a green line running, just one all the way around the uh, upper of the sneaker. And again, without overwhelming the sneaker itself, I think they've done a really, really good job of that. Then on both the medial and the lateral sides, you've got these discrete crimson swooshes, which are of equal size. Sometimes on Nike sneakers, you'll see, uh, for example, on the lateral side, a big swoosh and the medial side, a small or nothing as the Vapor Maxes that I, uh, rev not Vapor Maxes, goodness gracious, man. The Vapor Flies that I reviewed earlier this week, I think it was on Monday, had a massive swoosh on the lateral side and no swoosh at all on the medial side. But you can see here on these 97s that they have equal size swooshes or near to equal size swooshes in both in crimson on both the medial and the lateral sides of these sneakers. Then on the upper part of the sneaker, uh, the final place to look is that midsole where it's basically a front to back air unit. It is broken up by a couple of little sort of, I don't know, support struts, maybe we'd call that. But basically it's a front to back air unit all the way across the bottom of the sneaker and that is kind of an important thing in the history of the Nike Air Max because that was the first time the previous uh, version the Nike, Nike Air Max 95s had sort of multiple windows along the midsole but they weren't kind of connected together whereas for these Air Max 97s it's an almost continuous uh, air unit front to back of the sneaker which was a very important design element but uh, it isn't actually the most outstanding or stand out feature of the midsole or the outsole of the sole in total what is outstanding is the actual outsole itself which is an absolute flash an absolute pop of green and I just love that outsole because it's an absolute banging popping outsole but it's not seen because it's you know it's a shoe that's flat to the ground and those kind of things I just really dig I really appreciate like on an Air Jordan 1 sometimes on those sort of wing tabs you pull them back and there's sort of like uh, there's words on the inside sometimes inspirational words quotes from Jordan that kind of thing those kind of hidden details and elements of the design I really appreciate and the fact that they've put in a whole lot of effort into this outsole which is not very often seen because it's flat to the pavement or the ground i like that it's a real bright outsole but it's sort of discreet because it isn't overwhelming the color of the rest of the sneaker because it's on the bottom so to me great job i think the greens and the reds the crimsons uh they really work well without overwhelming the sneaker and that's why i'm behind the sneaker it's balance of colors balance of design elements throughout really look good i think it's a great looking nike air max 97 and it's one of the few nike air max nike air max 97s that tokyo butter 23 is going to get behind good job nike good job air max it's a great looking sneaker so that's my review for today thanks for checking in i really appreciate you being here as i said at the top of the video and as i do at the end of every single video tomorrow I tell you about tomorrow's content tomorrow is that Adidas young one blue pink that's dropping again it's the third of three sneakers I didn't think I would ever review but here I am reviewing them because they've made changes and they've updated the sneakers so make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and make sure you're checking in my content tomorrow because it's going to be another banging review for you guys out there all that's left for me to do is what I do every single day and sign off from this video and thank you for checking in and say that I will definitely see you tomorrow. Thank you for checking in today guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here we have the channel subscribe button. Chanel Toro Kuzihi Onagaishimasu. Over here we have the video I recommend you watch next. Kochira wa Osusumi des. And up here we have a link to the channel introduction video. Kochira wa Chanel no profil no video des. Check them out. Clicking on them really helps the channel.